Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how you can display league tables using the Footy Stats API. So, for this example, we're going to be working in PHP using an API call to grab the JSON data, convert it into an array, and then display that. So, the first thing we're going to do is create a variable that's going to house our endpoint. This is our API URL. You can see it's split into three sections. You've got the endpoint, which is league tables. The API key, which in this case is example, and the league ID, which is 1625. 1625 is the Premier League 2018-2019 season. By using the example API key on any of our endpoints, not just the league tables, you'll be able to access the Premier League season from last year. Next up, let's create a JSON variable. And we're going to use a PHP function called file get contents, which we're going to pass this URL. What this does, <laughs> it gets the contents of a file, and in this case, our file is this API endpoint, which is returning JSON data, which is perfect for us. Now, if you want to test that this is working, you can echo the JSON. And you'll see it spits out exactly the same response as the API endpoint does, which shows it's working. Next up, let's create a league variable. And in here, we want the JSON data. But for PHP to be able to manipulate and loop through that data, we need to use a function called JSON decode. And then we pass through the JSON. It's important as well with this data to assign true. What that does is it converts it to arrays rather than objects. Now, if you head back to the original endpoint, you can see that what we need is inside this data array. And we're going to be using this array, all matches table away. So to access that, we do something like this. We access the data array first, and then the all matches table away. And this will give you this, a huge array of all the teams ordered in their away ranking. Now this is still really messy, so let's look at looping through these teams and putting them into a table. First, let's turn that league variable into the one we need by accessing the data object and then the all matches table away. Now let's create a headline. Premier League 2018-2019 away table. Let's create our table. Position, team, played, won, you get the idea. Drawn, lost. You refresh and you should see this. To make this example look a little bit better, I'm just going to install Bootstrap. You don't have to do this. Just going to install the CSS here. And when you refresh, it looks a lot nicer, a lot cleaner too. Next up, we have the table body. And then we're going to have a for each loop in PHP. And what this is going to do is it's going to take our league variable that we created earlier, and it's going to loop through and display every single team. And we're going to pick the values and data points that we want from those teams. So for every league team, keep the key the same, which is the um, the key of each object. So essentially the, the number, the order. Next, a table row for each league team. And then a TD element, which is um, a column inside each row. And then let's echo the team position data. Let's just see if that's worked. And there you go. The position is in. Let's try the same for name. And there you have it. Okay, so I'll enter all of these and I will skip ahead. So I've added all of the points that we need and all of the data points for the table. Let's take a look at it now. So there it is, the Premier League away table. And the way the data is set up, it's really easy for you to just go in and change one variable here. Change the title of your page. Refresh, and you're now looking at a home table. That's how you display a table using the League Tables API call. Really simple stuff, and you're free to manipulate this in any way you like. You can create some if statements in there. You can exclude teams. You can merge teams from different leagues to create your own tables of some kind. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us, admin at footystats.org. Thanks for watching.